Kristen with the Rogers Public Library and this week for literary constructors we read two books about either silly people or silly animals or both. Now this book, I love this book, it's called Peanut by Linus Alcinas and it is about this sweet little old lady Mildred who's just so lonely until one day she finds a cat and she brings her cat home with her to live. <laughs> it's a very sweet, silly story and you should definitely check this book out to read it or join us on Zoom. And this book I also love, one of my favorites ever and it is called Barnyard Boogie, written by Jim and Janet Post and illustrated by Don Vasconcelos. And this is a wonderful, wonderful book, obviously, with a puppet. And it goes through all these farm animals like this clonky bonky donkey. And this raggle taggle rooster and goes through all kinds of farm animals and it's so much fun until at the very end meet the farmer and it is just a delightful book to read so this is not available for checkout at the library it's only for use for story times, but if you joined us on our Zoom meeting, then you got to listen to it. And if not, just come ask for me and maybe I'll get to read it to you at the library sometime. And to go along with our silly animal stories, we made a little silly looking duck. And I will show you how to make him. Our little duck is pretty simple. There's very few special parts. Most of it's just regular bricks. But we'll start at the bottom. Our little duck's feet are these single bricks with the slanted edges. So we have two of those. And then we took a three by two brick and put it right on top so the feet are in the very middle. Next we have two three by two bricks and I put one over two lines and one over one line so that it ends up with this little bottom tail area sticking out further off the back than his tummy off the front. Next, we have for his beak, this orange slanted piece that is a two by one, but you could always just use a two by two orange brick if you don't have the slanted piece, and a two by one yellow brick to make the bottom of his head. We have another two by one yellow brick that goes Again, the back of his head. Now I have these two green pieces that have these little attachments so that I can put eyes on. So I put some eyes on and then put these both single bricks on his face. But if you don't have these pieces where you can attach the eyes, you can just use single colored bricks to make some eyes for him. And last but not least, a two by two yellow brick for the top of his head. And here is our very simple, completed little wacky quacky pond duck. Quack, quack, quack. <laughs> Thank you for joining me for Literary Constructors. And I will see you next week. Bye. Quack, quack.